What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team vid. Guys, how are we doing today? Um, today has been a great day for grinding. Um, wow, today has just been unbelievable, guys. But before we get into the video, drop a like because we're gonna give away 10k MT to a random subscriber. Uh, make sure to drop some comments, guys. T uh, I would say 40 likes in the video and some comments will earn a uh, 10k MT to a random commenter and sub. So make sure to drop that sub, y'all. We're posting two to four vids every single day, guys. Um, it's just gonna be talking about the market, what happened with the market. I posted a market video yesterday. Um, but today was a crazy day to snipe. I made a ton of MT. Um, and I'm going to make even more MT because I'm simply just doing a certain things with cards right now. And I'm just playing with the auction while grinding single player triple threat. I mean, yeah, I only have 40 wins. And Denver Struck did just get Serge Ibaka. Dude, he has 500 wins. I was just looking at a stream I'm like, wow, dude. He probably has played like three days straight of that. But wow, man, he's got 500 wins. He just got this pink diamond surge, bro. He's halfway at Dominique already in the first like two to three days, which is crazy. But all right, guys, let's get into it. Let's talk about the market. The market has been interesting, especially I had about 400K and now I have like nothing, bro. I have bought a lot of cards. I bought Curry. I bought Clay. I bought Giannis. I bought Carmelo. I bought LeBron. I bought KD. Everybody's asking why. Why did I buy these players? First of all, played my team unlimited. I went 11 and 1. Yes, I'm literally so upset. A uh, one game I lost, bro. The kid was just like, I, he made every shot. I missed every shot and I was raging so bad. I wish I recorded it. It would have been such a good rage video, bro. I mean, like, I have the bet. Look at this team, bro. He had a very similar team. It was a little bit better, though. He had better Amethyst on the bench, but, bro. I mean, I missed every shot wide open. It was just a bad game. I just got smacked, bro. I quit in like the end of the fourth. I was hoping I got that 2K glitch that freaking bailed me out. But dude, that was such a rough game. But guys, here we go. Let's get to the market. So today I got Giannis for super cheap. I was hawking his ass the whole day. I mean, Dude, I was hawking out Giannis. Let's see what he's going for now, bro. Everybody's so cheap. And I'm just going to tell you guys right now, if you sold your cards yesterday like I told you to, um, right now is the time to probably um, buy cards back because they're still cheap and you could sell them later. I mean, this is almost, I'm certain about this. I'm going to tell you why. First of all, you have to think about it this way. Since people are playing single player triple threat, they're guaranteed these Eastern and Western packs early on. So you have to realize that, yeah, they're going to, they keep coming up and up, but dude, you have to also realize these packs just drop. And what happens when packs drop, um, the auction dies. Meaning since this is like guaranteed stuff, people sell their current day cards to pick up these cards as well. So you have to realize that anything that the game drops affects every card especially 2k for some reason to all right first of all the community of 2k is huge second of all you have to realize that everybody likes popping packs bro 2k packs are addicting i like popping packs who doesn't like popping packs bro so everybody in the 2k community like at least half the community pop packs meaning a huge market crash has came and destroyed the auction now this is the time to buy players because think about it yo there's so many more cards. There's so much more supply. There's lower demand because so many kids are popping packs. As the week goes on, bro, since everybody spammed their credit card day one to like panic wise, like I mean they panicking trying to pull the players. Every card goes up during the day. I would say by Sunday, every card will go up. Like for instance, I'm going to go over a bunch of cards. I remember everybody's prices. I don't even write them down. I just know them by heart. Um, we're going to go over Giannis because Giannis, I've been hawking all week. And I know for a fact, yesterday Giannis was at 90K. I came on at 11 o'clock, saw content drop, and I was freaking out because he's at 68K. Listen, I got him for 63. It's not the biggest night. Listen to me. You have to wait. There's only a certain amount of cards on the auction. It's not like the auction's flooded, bro. There's really not that many in the auction. If you wait like two to three days, you will make MT, I promise you. Um, Giannis is cheap. Bro, every Amethyst is cheap. It's too early in the game to make these Amethysts way too cheap, especially since there's really just there's really not a lot of supply if you think about it. Also, bro, 
Clay Thompson. I got him for about 10K today. Literally, I got him for 10K. You don't have to believe me, but I know for a fact I got him for 10K. He's probably around 14. Maybe we could snipe one. I don't even have that much MT, bro. I'm broke. So, yeah, he's at 15K. Dude, you could try sniping out. This is not a bad card to snipe out. If you could pick him up for like 11K, I would say, definitely a good card to uh, pick up. And also, what I noticed, a lot of the Sapphires, like, all right, this is what I did. So, I saw Przingis. I saw a couple of Przingises for like 4K and 3,800. There was four of them. And then after those four, he went up to 55. So, what I did is I picked up four. I sold all four. I Let's say I got them for 4K. I made about 1,000 clean off each of them. I made 4K clean. So far, I made 2K and these are going to sell. These are definitely going to sell, bro. Um... Definitely a great way to make MT. I highly recommend you try that out. The sapphires are flooded right now. You could pick up a couple and make thousands of MT. Uh, let's see if I can give you an example. We're going to go over to Luca, Bro, the market has crashed big time. Luca dropped so much. Like, he literally dropped 5K just from this one auction house. Like, bro, he's literally under 4K, I think, which is insane. He's 45. He's not a good example. Let's see if we can get another Perzingis for cheap. But man, bro, if you remember my video about two days ago, maybe even yesterday, he was like 9K. Now, I don't know what the hell happened, dude. Let's see. Maybe we could snipe out. A, oh, he's not a small forward. Maybe we could snipe out a Zinger real quick. 5K. All right. I mean, I would buy that and try to sell it for six, but eh. My other ones will probably sell. So we got Giannis, bro. Curry. I sold him for 84K yesterday. Literally last night. I put him up overnight. I didn't think he would sell. Sold him. I was kind of sad because, dude, it was like he was like 88k, and all of a sudden, get on at 11 o'clock. Got back home from work, and I'm like, yo, what is going on? What what happened? What dropped? What's going on? And yeah, the auction died. But look at this. Curry is now 54k, dude. Curry with these badges, bro. He's not gonna stay here. You guys need to pick up this card. He's gonna go up. 34 gold badges, bro. Bro, 34. I mean, his card is filthy. He's too cheap. It's a 55k Ami. You guys need to get all these current day Amis. I have LeBron. I have KD. I have Curry. I have Giannis. I almost have every single one besides the Claw. I I'm missing like four. I'm missing like half. But, dude, believe me. If you listen to me, you will make a ton of MT. I promise you. I do this every year. I grind the auction. Bro, it's not even grinding the auction. First of all, if you have 100k MT and you buy two Amethysts, you could use them on my team, which is a benefit while grinding. While grinding a game, just wait for the price to go up. It's literally one of the best methods in the game. I did it for MLB The Show. I did it for NBA 2K. And I did it for Madden, bro. I've been doing this for years. Believe me, it's going to work out. You just have to be patient. Check up on my videos every day, and I will give you, like, opportunities to make MT. You just have to listen to what I say carefully. Um, believe me. I know what I'm doing. I've been playing 2K since 2K12, bro. So, I, I just, I don't know. It's not like I'm bragging. I'm just telling you guys. Believe me. It's going to work out. I just want to think about some other players I got. Um, bro. One person I took an L on, I tried selling him overnight and couldn't. I guess I put the price too high. Bro, I got KD. I got him for about 74 k He's like 50 k now. These Amethysts, bro, they ruined my day. They went so cheap. And it's crazy because no one's even buying them out right now. Like, they're dry. It's like they're sitting up on the auction for so long. It's kind of getting me scared. Like, look, 59 k KD. Bro, these just sit up on the auction. It's like, yo, what's going on? Why aren't they selling? Yo, wait. KD just got a three-point increase. He actually had a 77. He had now is an 80. So that is something weird. They actually upped his stats. I know that for a fact. He has a 77-3. He now is an 80. That's weird. So maybe they up threes. Melo's still an 85. That's interesting. He definitely had a 77 for a fact. Um, but yeah, everything is so cheap. KD is now down. Um, listen, guys, if you have the MT. I would go try sniping some Amethyst. If you have like 100k plus, try snipe Amethyst. If you don't, I would go Luka Doncic and Zinger. If you don't have any of that, try sniping some silvers, bro. Silvers are good. If you just get the right silver, you can make a ton of MT. If you got lower MT, you want to go Ruby. You got like 10k, 20k, go Lillard. Go, make sure you go Lillard. You go Kyrie. Pretty much every Ruby point guard or uh, or Carl Anthony Towns. Those are my top Ruby snipes. That's what I recommend, guys. Um, listen, I hope you enjoyed. If you guys want to see a stream, drop a comment down below. If you want some more market tips, if you want some gameplay, guys, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'm ready to grind. I'm here every day. 
Honestly, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more vids. Have a good one. Peace.